नमामि शारदाम देवी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी नमस्कार करस्तु मी प्रसन्नास्तु स सदा हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर ऑन द फोर्टीन पार्ट ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री टेन स्टैंड एस एस सी मैथ्स टू वी आर ऑन द प्रॉब्लम सेट फाइव नाउ विल कंटिन्यू विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स तो या बोल का अप्लाई द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला तो सॉल्यूशन राइट द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज a a comma 0 and for point b 0 comma a so solution let coordinate of point a b x1 y1 and that of point b b x2 y2 so what is value of x1 x1 is a and y1 is 0 x2 is 0 and y1 is equal to a now so by using distance formula what is distance formula distance ab is equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square that is equal to under root x2 x2 ka value hai 0 plus but put in this type of bracket only minus a a square bracket aur ya hoga a minus 0 the whole square so distance ab is equal to under root 0 minus 0 minus a the whole square a minus 0 the whole square that is equal to minus a square plus a square so minus a ka square is a square only and a square is a square so that become root 2 a square therefore distance ab is equal to root 2 will be separated a Units. Yes, we are going to write it properly. Come and write now. Second question. P minus six minus three and Q is minus one comma nine. Now let coordinate of point P B X one Y one and point Q B X two Y two. So x one is equal to minus six. Y one is equal to minus one. A minus three. X two is equal to minus one. Y two is equal to minus. It is plus nine. So by using distance formula, what is distance formula? Distance PQ is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square and y2 minus y1 the whole square. X2 x2 is nothing but minus six. Then minus one comma minus six the whole square and here it will be nine minus Minus three double square. So we are getting distance PQ is equal to under root minus one plus six double square and nine plus three double square. So we are getting five square plus twelve square. 
5 square we know it is 25 and 12 square is 144. We are getting 169 and square root of 169 is 13. Therefore, distance PQ is equal to 13 units that we put in the box. R is having got that minus 3 comma A and S is having A comma minus 2 A. So, solution let coordinate of point R be x1, y1 and point S be x2, y2. So, x1 is minus 3a, y1 is a x2 is a and y2 is minus 2a. Therefore, by using distance from distance rs is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square, y2 minus y1 the whole square. That is equal to distance rs is equal to x2. I put a square bracket. x2 is a minus minus 3a the whole square plus minus 2a plus, sorry, minus a the whole square. That is equal to under root a plus 3a the whole square and uh, minus 2a minus a the whole square is equal to 4a the whole square minus 3a the whole square. 4a square is nothing but 16a square and minus 3a square is nothing but plus 3a square that is coming around 25a square therefore distance rs is equal to 25 plus square is 5 or a units you put in a box Okay. Seventh question, find the coordinate of the circumcenter. This type of questions we have already completed in practice sets. Circumcenter of a triangle whose vertices are minus 1, 3, 0, minus 2 and 1, 3. I told you that circum circle, circum circle is a circle which passes through the vertices of triangle. Suppose A, B, and C is a are the vertices of triangle, and this is the circle which passes through all these three vertices. Okay, so. A will take it as what minus 3 comma 1, B will take it as what 0 comma minus 2, and C will take it as what 1 comma 3. Is it right? And I can get separated. Okay. See us again. Find the coordinate of a circumcenter. Circumcenter is the center of a circumcircle. Circumcenter is that circle which is past all the three vertices of a triangle. So, we have to find out the coordinate of our circumcenter. This is the coordinate of our circumcenter of a triangle. Whose vertices are what? Minus 3, 1, 0, minus 2, and 1, 3. Okay? And let me check once again. Minus 3, 1, 0, minus 2, and 1, 3. Now, in this case, let Co A, B, C be vertices of given triangle and O be the circumcenter 
of triangle ABC. Okay, select what we can do is lay coordinate of point A B x1 y1 point B B x2 y2 point C B x3 y3 and Point O B X comma Y. Are you getting it? So X or Y को मुझे find out करना है. X one is minus three. Y one is one. X two is zero. Y two is minus two. X3 is 1, Y3 is 3. Okay, so A is minus 3, 1, 0, minus 2, 1, 3. After doing that, we know that this OA is equal to OB. They are the radii of same circle. So what I can write? Length OA or distance OA is equal to distance OB. We can write radia of same circle. Radia of same circle. So, by distance formula. By a distance formula. What I can write is distance OA. If this one is actually x comma y, this one is x one y one, this one is x two y two, and we are going to take x three y three. So distance formula में हम लोग x two minus x one use करते हैं, but यहाँ पे use कर x minus x one. तो क्या होगा? x minus x one the whole square, y minus y one the whole square. In other bracket, x minus x to the whole square, y minus y to the whole square. After that, we are going to write squaring on both the sides. Squaring kiya. Squaring kiya the kya hoga? Iske square root jo hai wo tatkan nikal jayega. So x minus x1 the whole square y minus y1 the whole square, x minus x2 the whole square, and y minus y2 the whole square. Okay, to x, x is, we don't know the value of x minus, therefore x minus x1, x1 is actually minus minus 3 the whole square plus y is y minus 1 the whole square y 1 is 1 then here it will be x minus x2 will be 0 so minus 0 the whole square plus y minus y2 y2 is minus 2 to so minus 2 the whole square Okay, so what you are getting is therefore x plus 3 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square in other bracket x square plus y plus 2 the whole square. Now x plus 3 the whole square is nothing but x square. We are going to apply the formula of a plus b the whole square. Apply it directly only. So shall I write apply directly 6x plus 9 a square plus 2ab plus b square. Here it will be y square minus 2y plus 1 plus square is 1. Here it will be x square it will be x square only. Plus here y square plus 4y plus 4. Please let me look up now. I'm going to apply the case all the Here the x square plus x square plus x square will get cancelled. 
when they are having same sign we can easily cancel it y square y square get cancelled and what we are getting is 6x now no x term is there minus 2y if I transfer on that it becomes minus 4y 4 minus 1 minus 9 so we are getting 6x minus 6y is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 and 6 minus 3 is minus 6 ok got it so if I am taking 6 common x minus y is equal to minus 6 x minus y is equal to minus 6 upon 6 x minus y is equal to minus 1 so this is equation 1 ok what I can do is distance OA is equal to distance yeah, I will take distance OB is equal to distance OC same thing is there radii of same circle then once you got that we are going to apply by distance formula distance formula is square root of x minus x to the whole square plus y minus y to the whole square then x minus x3 the whole square and y minus y3 the whole square so therefore if I am taking squaring on both the sides We get so I get x minus x to the whole square y minus y to the whole square x minus x3 the whole square y minus y3 the whole square x therefore x in bracket x2 ka value get minus 0 so I put 0 plus y minus y2 is nothing but minus minus 2 the whole square is equal to x minus x1 is x3 is nothing but 1 and y minus 3 the whole square so what you are getting is z x minus 0 the whole square y plus 2 the whole square is equal to x minus 1 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. So we are getting answer x minus 0 is x square only. So it will be x square plus y square plus 4y plus 4. We are going to apply the formula of a plus b the whole square. Here to be x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square minus 6y plus 9. But as I told you, they are having same sign. We are going to cancel this, this, this. What is there with you? Minus 2x. Yeah, if I transform that, it becomes plus 2x plus 4y plus 6y is equal to 9 minus 4. So what we are getting is 2x plus 10y is equal to 5. Once again, we'll check it. It is 4, it is 1, it is 9, and uh, 9 plus 1 is 10. Oh, plus 1 minus 4. This coming 9 plus 1 is 10, minus 4 is 6. So we can take 2 common, become x plus 5y is equal to 6. x plus 5y is equal to 3 is equation number 2. Now, okay. Now we are going to solve these two questions x plus y and this one. Up they go, yeah, x a, yeah, x a, and plus x plus x is there. We will do one thing subtract equation 2 from 1. What is this? x minus y is equal to minus 1. 
x plus 5y is equal to 3. When I subtract, we have to change the sign. So x, x get cancelled. Minus 6y is equal to minus 4. y is equal to minus 4 upon minus 6. Minus minus get cancelled. y is equal to 2 upon 3. Now students, I don't have much place. But we got the value of y. Why we are going to substitute other equation 1 or 2, we get value of x. So that we will do later on. So we will do one thing now. We will see that how we have solved this question. What are the question? Find the quadrant of the circumcenter of circumcenter is the center of circumcircle. And circumcircle is the circle which passes through all the vertices of the triangle. Correct? And vertices, coordinate of vertices are they have given minus 1, minus, nine, uh, minus 3 and 1. 0, minus 2 and 1, comma 3. So what I did, I have taken A, B, C are the vertices of given triangle and O is the circumcenter of a triangle A, B, C. So coordinate of point A, B, X1, Y1. Correct? And uh, B, B, X2, Y2, C, B, X3, Y3 and coordinate of point A, B, X, comma, Y. So we have to find out X and Y but X1 is Minus 3 minus 2, uh, 1, x2 is 0, comma, minus 2, and x3 is 1, comma, 3. But I know that this distance is equal to this distance. This one is radius of same circle. We got equation 1. Then we take OB and OC. Distance OB and distance OC. We can take OA and OB, OC also. But has 0 radius, calculation is less than 1. So have taken. OB, OB may equal 0 here. So I got this two equation, second equation. Now we have to solve equation 1 and 2. We got the value of y. That we are going to put in equation 1 or 2. We will get a coordinate of circumcenter. So student, please copy down it properly. Copy down it. Now we got the value of y. y is 2 upon 3. Then what I could write? Substitute. y is equal to 2 upon 3 in equation a 2 hai or 3 hai equation 1 is better we get it put in equation 1 x minus y is equal to minus 1 x minus y is equal to minus 1 to x minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, x minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 plus 2 upon 3. Now we are going to cross multiply it. So x is equal to minus 1 into 3 plus 2 into 1 upon 1 into 3. So x is equal to minus 3 plus 2 upon 3. x we got minus 1 upon 3. So these are the, this is the value of x we got. So x and y are the coordinate of O and this is circumcenter. So what I would write, therefore, x is equal to minus 1 upon 2, x comma y is equal to what? Minus 1 upon 3 and 2 upon 3. Therefore, coordinate of circum center is minus 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 that you put in the box and that is the final answer. So it is important question please students you have to do it properly. Now students we are on the 8th question. In the following examples can a segment joining given points form a triangle? If you are triangle is formed state the type of triangle. If you have a triangle form you take it. But have you come to know that <coughs> these triangles are formed or not? So, please keep in mind, suppose a triangle is there, we consider a right angle triangle. Suppose, ye 4, hai, ye 3, ye to 5, hota hai. is it right? But, 4 plus 3 is always greater than 5. Or, 5 plus 3 is always greater than 4. 4 plus 3 is always greater than, sorry, 5 is there, na? 5 plus 4 is greater than 3. 
So sum of the length of two sides is always greater than third side. Then it is possible that these triangles are formed. ये टेक्निक यूज करनी वापस एक बार हमने नाइन्थ में पढ़ा था कि सम ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ टू साइड इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन थर्ड साइड तो आई हैव गिवन वन एग्जांपल इट इज राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल का है इट इज अ ट्राई ट्रिपलेट है पाइथागोरस ट्रिपलेट अब 4 प्लस 3 इज 7 7 इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन 5 5 प्लस 3 इज 8 इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन 4 और 5 प्लस 4 इज ग्रेटर देन ऐसा रहेगा तो ही ट्रायंगल फॉर्म होगा अदरवाइज नहीं ओके दिस दिस प्रॉपर्टी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इट फ्रॉम नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड अब इसके लिए अगर हमें इसके साथ कोरिलेट करना है देन दिस इज द टेक्निक टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज इट दिस ट्राइंगल इज फॉर्म और नॉट एंड इफ फॉर्म दे आर बिस्ट ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल तो दिस मे बी राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल आइसोसेस ट्राइंगल इक्वी लेक्ट्रल ट्राइंगल या फिर स्केल ट्राइंगल इस तरह से ट्राइंगल्स हो सकते हैं अगर ट्राइंगल फॉर्म हुआ तो ओके नाउ वी गो फॉर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन इज दे हैव गिवन एल एल इज द एल हैज ए कॉर्डिनेट सिक्स एंड फोर एम हैज ए कॉर्डिनेट माइनस फाइव कॉमा माइनस थ्री एंड एम एज अ कॉर्डिनेट माइनस सिक्स कॉमा एट so how we find it that that we have to find out that it is forming so just just that these triangles are formed is the these are the segments of triangle or not so we we'll find out the some distances that is the only way so solution what i want to write lay coordinate of Point L B X one Y one point coordinates of point M B X two Y two and point L B X three Y three. So we know that X one is equal to six. Y one is equal to four. X two is equal to minus five. Y two is equal to minus three. X three is equal to minus six, and Y three is equal to eight. So we find out the distance of length of the segment, all three segments. First, we find out what length M N. Then, what I want to write by using Distance formula. Distance LM is equal to under root x two minus x one the whole square y two minus y one the whole square. That is equal to under root in square bracket x two is minus five. And x one is six, the whole square. Y two is minus three, and y one is minus four, the whole square. So you are getting under root minus five minus six, the whole square plus minus three minus four, the whole square. That is equal to. Minus eleven the whole square minus seven the whole square. Distance L M is equal to under root minus eleven the whole square is one twenty one and seven square is forty nine. So we are getting nine plus one is ten seven one one seven. That is distance L. We are going to write units in equation one. Okay. I think you have understood this properly. Okay. How to find? Okay. Now distance M N is equal to 
एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स टू द होल स्क्वायर वाई थ्री माइनस वाई टू द होल स्क्वायर एक्स थ्री एक्स थ्री इज नथिंग बट माइनस सिक्स माइनस माइनस फाइव द होल स्क्वायर एंड वाई थ्री इज एट माइनस माइनस थ्री द होल स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू We are getting six plus five the whole square plus eight plus three the whole square. This is minus six. We are getting one square minus one square plus eleven square. One square is one and eleven square is one twenty one. We are getting one twenty two. The distance. M N is equal to this. Have you understood this now? Now and distance L N is equation number two. Distance L N is equal to under root x three minus x one the whole square, y three minus y one the whole square. Therefore, x three x three is nothing but Minus six, minus x one is six, the whole square plus y two. Y three is eight minus four the whole square. We are getting minus six minus six the whole square, eight minus four the whole square. We are getting minus. Twelve the whole square plus four square. Okay, for it. So what you are getting is distance L n is equal to it is one forty four plus four that is sixteen. We are getting zero six one for distance L n. Distance L n is equal to this much unit. That is equation number three. Got it now? So from one to n three, length M M is equal to root one centimeter units. Distance L n, sorry M n. Is equal to one twenty two units and length L n is equal to one sixty units. Now these are the three sides. We have to judge that they are the, they are forming a triangle or not. I told you that we have to prove so that it is one seventy. I made mistake. One seventy. अब इन दोनों का जो लेंथ है इफ आई एम एडिंग इफ इट इज ग्रेटर देन 170 देन इट विल वर्क ओके तो फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ लेंथ एम एन प्लस लेंथ एल एन इज नथिंग बट रूट ऑफ 122 ट्वेंटी टू प्लस रूट ऑफ वन सिक्सटी कॉट इट डाउन so it is little bit difficult for us to find out the value of this तो हम लोग क्या करेंगे squaring on both the sides तो what you are getting is m n square plus l n square is equal to root one twenty two plus one sixty the whole square That is equal to one twenty two the whole square plus two into one twenty two into one sixty plus one sixty the whole square. We are getting one twenty two plus two into ये तो अलग ही रहेगा one twenty two into one sixty plus one sixty. We are getting two eight two plus two into One twenty-two into one sixty. That is nothing but m n plus l n the whole square. And 
Length m n l n the whole square is equal to root one seventy the whole square. That is equal to one seventy. So ultimately, क्या हो गया? m n square plus l n square is greater than. See if I'm comparing these two, is greater than l n square. So, taking square root, what I'm getting is m n square plus l n square is equal to l m. So l m m n plus l n is equal to l m. So students, we got that this is greater than. Okay. So see once again, I I I try to solve it over here. Okay. थोड़ा सा इसके बाद इसमें आ जाना चाहिए. Okay. So what you got? M n length l m n plus length l n is greater than length l m. Therefore, ये condition है. That's why the segments form triangle l m n. ये triangle form होते हैं. And length l n Length m n is not equal to length l n is not equal to length l m. Therefore, triangle l m n is a scalar triangle. It is a scalar triangle. Okay, so that we are going to copy down from. After this, we are going to write over there. So. I'll do one thing. I'll explain it once again. Okay. For this, so for this example, there is a question. Very important. Here, you know, for example, can this segment given form a triangle? If triangle is formed, if there is triangle formed over there, then find out the which type of triangle it is. First example, here, L has a coordinate six four. M has a coordinate minus. Five n minus three n has a coordinate one is six comma eight. अब ये देखना कि ये segments या ये points triangle form करते हैं कि नहीं। But उसके लिए हमारे पास एक ही formula है कि उनके length निकाले। तो what I did इसे मैंने l को x one y one लिया coordinates को, m के coordinates को मैंने x two y two लिया और l के लिया x three y three. Then I put the values, I find out the value of l m Lm I got 170, Mn I got 122, Ln I got 160. From 1, 2, and 3, I got these three: 170, 122, and 160. But this, we have to see that values are there: 170, 122, and what? कोई भी दो साइड को ले. Suppose मैंने सबसे बड़ी साइड है 170 से अलग रखा और इन दोनों को ऐड किया. तब लेकिन ये थोड़ा दक्षिण देने वाला था कि इसका वैल्यू हम लोग निकाल नहीं पा रहे. Is it one root of one point two? We don't have value of it. One sixty, but I don't know. What I did? Usko squaring kiya. So squaring karte baat kiya. Here I should write in this way. So what you got? A square plus two AB plus B square. Its value is one twenty two. Ye two into this plus one sixty. But in dono ko add karne ka two eighty two aa raha hai. Aur uske baad A bhi down hai. And LM ka square kitna aa raha hai? One seventy. तो ये 282 के बाद और भी टर्म है और ये 170 है इससे हम लोग क्या मालूम पड़ेगा एम एन प्लस एल एम स्क्र इज ग्रेटर मतलब ट्राइंगल एलिमेंट एंड अगेन दिस थ्री साइड आर नॉट इक्वल मीन दिस ट्राइंगल एल एम एन इज अ Scalar triangle. These two are the answers for this question. So please, students, copy down it properly. Next time, sir, to all of you, revise and copy down. Copy down. Now, second question. P minus two minus four q minus four minus two and r is minus five comma zero. Let me check it once again. <coughs> it is uh, minus two minus. Six, sorry, yeah, I made a mistake. Q is uh, minus four minus two, and 
R is minus 5 comma 0. <coughs> we have to find out that they are these segments are forming a triangle or not and if yes then which type of triangle it is formed. So solution lay coordinates of points point P B X1 Y1 point Q B X2 Y2 and point R B X3 Y3 X1 is equal to minus 2 X2 is equal to minus 3 x2 is equal to minus 4 y2 is equal to minus 2 and uh, x3 is equal to minus 5 and y3 is equal to 0 once again x1 is equal to minus 5 minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 minus 5 so we have to find out first by distance formula by distance formula first of all we we'll find out distance pq is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square y2 minus this one now we are going to find out the value of length pq so distance pq by using distance formula will be x2 minus x1 the whole square y2 minus y1 the whole square that is equal to under root x2 ka value hai minus 4 minus minus 2 the whole square that you put in square bracket here it will be minus 2 minus minus 6 the whole square Okay, so what you are getting now, that is minus 4 plus 2 the whole square and minus 2 plus 6 the whole square. So what you are getting is minus 2 the whole square plus 4 the whole square is equal to 4 plus 16. We are getting 20. But we know that root 20 is 5 into 4. For particular this question, we have to find out in this way. We are getting 2 root 5. That is length PQ is equal to this much units and you keep it as what equation 1. Now next one is length QR or distance QR is equal to under root x3 minus x2 the whole square y3 minus y2 the whole square that is equal to under root x3 x3 is nothing but minus 5 minus minus 4 the whole square plus y2 y3 is 0 minus minus 2 the whole square that is equal to under root in bracket minus 5 plus 4 the whole square plus 0 minus 0 plus 2 the whole square. It is coming as what? Minus 1 square plus 2 square. So distance QR is equal to minus 1 square is 1 plus this 2 square is 4. We are getting root 5. So distance QR is equal to or length QR is equal to root 5 units equation 2. Then third one is distance PR. Distance PR is nothing but x3 minus x1 the whole square and y3 minus y1 the whole square is equal to under root x3 x3 is nothing but minus 5 
minus minus 2 the whole square plus y3 is 0 minus minus 6 the whole square we are getting minus 5 plus 2 the whole square plus minus 6 the whole square it is coming minus 3 the whole square plus minus 6 the whole square is equal to 9 plus 36 it is coming root 45 and root 45 is nothing but 9 into 5 so we are getting distance PR or length PR is equal to 3 root 5 units that is equation number 3 once we got that so see here now from equation 1 it is 2 root 5 here it is root 5 here it is 3 root 5 so sabse bada hai root so from 1 and 2 length pq plus length pr sorry qr is equal to 2 root 5 plus root 5 in this case root 5 we can take it common so we get 2 plus 1 so length pq plus length qr is equal to 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3 root 5 this is equation number 4 ok got it now so we got this but if you see from equation 3 and 4 we are getting length PR is equal to length PQ plus length QR. Again, what I can say that Q is a common point. Therefore, points P, Q and R are collinear. That we studied in the first practice set. Once they are collinear, what I can say is points of segment PQ, segment QR and segment PR are not forming triangle PQR. They are not forming any triangle PQR. When they are not forming means no need to tell what type of triangle it is. Have you understood this? Please students. This question is that we have to be proper in the First we find out the value of PQ, then QR, then PR. But we found that 2 root 5 root 5 or 3 root 5 mein ye sabse bada hai to in baaki ke dono ko maine add kiya to what you got 3 root 5 ye bhi 3 root 5 ye bhi 3 root 5 hai then we know that pr is going to be q plus q1 and indicate q is a common point therefore these three points are collinear when they are collinear these points cannot form a triangle this these segments cannot form a triangle please copy down it properly and uh, by pausing this point a is 2 comma root comma root 2 comma root 2 b is minus root 2 minus root 2 and uh, c is minus root 6 and root 6 let the coordinate of point a be x1 y1 b be x2 y2 c be x3 y3 x1 is root 2 y1 is root 2 x2 is minus root 2 y2 is also minus root 2 and x3 is minus root 6 and y3 is root 6 then again I told you that we have to find out all the three segments and some of the two segments should be greater than third segment that it is a that only it can form a triangle so we'll see that okay by distance formula by distance formula distance AB is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square y2 minus y1 the whole square that is equal to under root x2 x2 is minus root 2 minus in bracket root 2 the whole square plus y2 y2 is 
माइनस रूट टू प्लस रूट टू सॉरी इज माइनस द होल स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस रूट टू माइनस रूट टू द होल स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस रूट टू माइनस रूट टू द होल स्क्वायर दैट इज नथिंग बट we are getting minus 2 root 2 the whole minus minus plus root 2 minus root 2 is 1 plus 1 2 root 2 plus we can write minus 2 root 2 the whole square same way so we are getting minus root 2 the square is 4 into 2 plus 4 into 2 we are getting 8 plus 8 root 16. So distance AB, yeah, length AB is equal to 4 units. Is equal to 4, now. This is equation number 1. Then, same way, distance BC is equal to under root x3 minus x2 the whole square, y3 minus y2 the whole square is equal to under root x3 x3 is nothing but minus root 6 minus minus root 2 the whole square and here y3 y3 is uh, nothing but root 6 okay minus minus root to the whole square. So, we are getting distance BC is equal to under root minus root 6 plus root to the whole square. Here also, root 6 plus root to the whole square. Ah, we have problem we are getting because it is coming in the form of what a plus b the whole square is it right here i can write as root 2 minus root c the whole square and here also you can write if you want or you can write i as it is or you can write it this way because you have to let me change the of sign change the order so we are getting root 2 the whole square minus 2 into root 2 into root 6 plus root 6 the whole square plus root 2 the whole square plus 2 into root 2 into root 6 plus root 6 the whole square. So we are getting root 2 the square is 2 minus here if I multiply 2 into 2 into 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 into 6 plus 6. But here it get cancelled. So what we are getting is 2 plus 6 is 8, 2 plus 6 is 8, root 16 is equal to 4. So length BC is equal to 4 units equation 2. So we got two lengths equal. Now we have to find out distance AC. Distance AC is equal to what is that? x3 minus x1 the whole square, y3 minus y1 the whole square is equal to under root x3. x3 is nothing but in square bracket minus root 6 minus root 2 the whole square and root 6 minus root 2 the whole square. So it is somewhat like this only. So what you are getting is minus root 6 minus root 2 the whole square. Okay. Mm, x1 minus 6 minus 2. Okay. And here we are getting plus root 6 plus root 2 the whole square. But now it is both the places it is minus so it is plus. So now we are going to apply the formula. Now minus root 6 minus root 2 the whole square. Here it is a little bit problem is there. Okay, formula apply. 
बट आई विल कंसिडर एज अ प्लस नम ओनली ए माइनस बी द होल स्क्वेर ही अप्लाई करूंगा तो ए माइनस बी द होल स्क्वेर का फॉर्मूला आएगा माइनस रूट सिक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू इंटू माइनस रूट सिक्स हाँ मैं देखो कैसा कर रहा हूं बिकॉज इसको मैं प्लस ही कंसिडर कर रहा हूं इंटू रूट टू प्लस रूट टू द होल स्क्वेर प्लस इट इज सेम वे रूट सिक्स स्क्वेर प्लस टू इंटू रूट सिक्स इंटू रूट टू प्लस रूट टू द होल स्क्वेर ये पूरा रहेगा दैट इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट रूट सिक्स का स्क्वेर इज प्लस सिक्स माइनस माइनस बिकम प्लस Is become two into six into two plus two plus six plus two in bracket six into two plus two. But this is having this 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 term is having plus sign here so plus sign mm -hmm. I made a mistake. Why it is minus two? So it will be minus. What I can say is that AB is AB plus BC is greater than AC, or AB plus AC is greater than BC, and uh, BC plus AC is greater than AB. These conditions के वजह से segment AB, segment BC, and segment AC form. ट्राइंगल एबीसी एंड ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए सी देर ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज एन इक्वी लैटरल ट्राइंगल एक होता लगा ट्राइंगल है जब ऑल साइड आर इक्वल इट इज एन इक्वी लैटरल ट्राइंगल स्टूडेंट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर फोर मार्क्स सो you do it properly take care of calculation and solve it okay pause the video if you are not getting it properly rewind the video aur ek baar dekh lo aur fir properly samajhne ke baad hi copy kar lena by pausing the video copy it out properly and copy it here for this uh part number 14 so we we'll continue with the next part that is part number 15 in next lecture okay next part so copy down it properly thank you students